if you guys look at our three equations that we have up here, you guys can see if I was going to ask you to solve the system of equations, remember the first thing on substitution. Look for an equation that has a coefficient of 1 or negative 1, right? So you guys can see in all of these examples, we do not have a variable that has a coefficient of 1 or negative 1. You can still use substitution, but you have to solve for a variable. And I can just tell you, it's just not really going to be fun to solve for a variable. Like to solve for v, you had to add 2u, divide by 3, and you're going to have fractions and so forth. So there is another method. And the other method is called the our elimination method. So the elimination, elimination method, basically all we're going to do is either add or subtract the equations. Now, I will tell you, I do not like subtracting the equations. Okay, um, That is not a favorite thing for me. So I am always going to add the equations. Now, when we add the equations, the purpose of elimination is to eliminate a variable. All right, And I'll write down the process after I'm done with my examples. So basically, ladies and gentlemen, what you want to do is first make sure that your equations have your variables aligned. Do you guys see how u is over u, v is over v? And my, um, con and my um, quantity is over my quantity. Do you guys see that? No. Step number one, make sure they're aligned. Step number two is we want to identify the variables that have exactly the same coefficient, positive or negative. So do you guys see any variable has the exact same coefficient? V, right? It has three. Now, to isolate this, you could subtract the two equations. But again, as I mentioned, students make mistakes when they subtract. So I'm going to rewrite this as I'm going to add. Now, if I just added these equations as is, I would have u, and then I'd have 6v, correct? Plus equals 10. Would you guys agree? So what I need to do is I need to add them so this goes to 0. So what I'm going to do is I am going to multiply one of the equations by a multiplier. That multiplier, in this case, is a negative 1. When doing that, I now obtain the equation negative 3u minus 3v equals negative 15. Then I'll rewrite my second equation again, negative 2u plus 3v equals negative 5. Does everybody see what I did? Make sure when you multiply, you multiply every single term by that multiplier. Okay. Now I am going to add the two equations. Because now what I have is a negative and a positive. So negative 3u minus 2u is a negative 5u. Negative 3v plus 3v is 0v, which is just 0. Negative 15 plus a negative 5 is a negative 20. So I have negative 5u equals negative 20. Can I now solve for a variable? Yes. yes. Divide by negative 5. So I have u equals positive 4. Now, the nice thing about substitution is once you, have this, once you have the value for one variable, you can plug it into the other equation that was solved for the other variable. If you guys could write, because we solve one of the equations for the variable. In elimination, we don't have an equation that's solved for the other variable. So you're just going to have to pick one of the equations to plug into. So which equation would you like to plug it into, the top or the bottom? Me? Yeah. Um, top. top. It doesn't matter. You could say bottom, and then you do bottom. It's not going to matter. So in the top equation, we know the value of u is 4. So I'll do 3 times 4 plus 3v equals positive 15. I always like to choose the equation that doesn't have as many negatives, because that's where I make mistakes. 3 times 4 is 12 plus 3v equals 15. Subtract 12, subtract 12, 3v equals 3. Divide by 3, divide by 3, v equals 1. So my solution is v equals 1, u equals 4. Anybody have any questions? No questions. You have a question. Yes? When you, you're plugging back in. Is when you have the negative one, it's only just for your elimination, not when you plug back in. Yeah, you could plug it into you could plug it into that negative one too. Yeah. 